tonight with a child pornography bust. Two men are arrested, accused of sharing disturbing materials with undercover police. The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where the child's porn was found at a home on Ames Street in Coventry. And we've learned the investigation stretches all the way to Florida. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik joins us now live with tonight's top local story. Well, Mike, Mike, state police tonight are asking for the public's help because at this point they do not know who two of the victims are. They believe they are local boys and in some of the pictures they were nude. This is a Coventry home raided by police yesterday after they say two young men who lived there had hundreds of pornographic pictures and video of young children. 23-year-old Matthew Craig, police say of 50 Ames Street in Coventry, the focus of their investigation. Checked his computer and other media files and observed that he had contained uh, hundreds of child pornography pictures and videos. Also arrested his roommate, 24-year-old Kenneth Gerard, who police say also had child porn on his computer. On both computers, state police say the men had pictures and videos of boys between the ages of 7 and 10 engaging in sex with other children or men. Police say they were tipped off by Boynton Beach, Florida, and New York police after an undercover detective called them. An undercover officer began communicating with Mr. Craig in the chat room and then Mr. Craig opened up to that undercover officer allowing him to have permission to enter a shared file. Once inside that shared file the undercover officer was able to uh, download hundreds of pornographic images and videos. But most important tonight, state police still searching for the identity of two boys who are white and under the age of 12. Police say they found the 10 pictures of them in Craig's camera and believe they live locally. And police say if you've had any contact with the two suspects and may know who the victims are, obviously to give state police a call, both men tonight have been released on bail. Reporting live tonight with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.